I do the other. And uh, right here is this little uses the star attachment on the drill. That is how you um, raise and lower the height of the low beam light. The high beam, I'm actually going to replace them soon. They've got an odd coating on the end of them. No, they don't have an, a coating. This one does, but that one doesn't. Um, they they run as the, on this model, they also are the running lights at reduced intensity. And I noticed on the edges, on the outside of them, they've got a little, like a little yellow, a yellowish burnt. You can kind of see it on that one. It's kind of brown on the end. It's inside the bulb. It's from the gases. Probably burning, um, not at, you know, like they're made to be burned at whatever volts. Instead, it's being lowered down to kind of like a dimmer. So, I'm going to get some new high beams soon. Maybe that'll make them a little bit brighter. They're already really bright, though. And, uh, oh yeah, before I shut this off, I thought I'd show you. I don't know if I've ever shown you the inside of the car before. Really nice. I like it. It's got the sunroof and everything, and OnStar, even though I discontinued that. It's got a cool heads-up display. I wanted to show you guys that. Come on, man. Oh, come on. Did you turn the car on? No. You can see? Anyway, it projects out on the windshield. It looks a lot better in person, but it's kind of cool because when I put this wheel down, Look at this. I'm looking down. I'm not seeing a speedometer. Luckily, I've got one up there. And that's the sound of the air thing on that the suspension. And then uh, I took the back seats out because it actually I've noticed a mile per gallon or two better on the mileage and if anybody ever needs to ride they can ride back there in the third row seat and have like limousine space as I call it I mean that's a lot of freaking space I can't wait to someday have someone drive me in this thing and I'll get in the back so uh, my gym I you know hiking shoes and gym clothes and uh, what the hell's in there Oh, that's for mom. Anyway, and yeah, it's... I don't know, it's got footrests here on the back of the seat. I've never... I don't see that's how anyone would ever really use them, but... Anyways, see you later. So this is what I'm going to call the, uh... Dashboard cam. I'm not sure what all you're going to be able to see. I mean, my headlights are working.
there and get that uh, old air compressor of Uncle Gene's, okay? I just want to let you guys know in case you see me messing around out there. I, well, I've got a compressor on the car here, but it takes too long to fill the tires up, and I'm going to get the tires filled up on all the cars. And since you got that new one, I figured you wouldn't need it. Um, does it have the tire attachment on it, or is there one for it somewhere, or, or is it? Okay. Because, uh, I don't, I didn't know if you left it at Uncle Jean's, or probably just left it on there when you took it. If that's what was on there. Alright, well, I'll look around anyway and find one. Um, did you want to go to Six Flags on Father's Day? I think it's on the 17th. Uh, well, let me know if you can or not, because uh, that Father's Day ticket only works on that day. But if you can't go on that day, I'll get somebody else to go, and then I'll give you their ticket or whatever. So I'll figure it out one way or the other. All right. Ooh, I see the blue car sitting out. Yeah, just now pulling in. Yeah, Mom told me about that. Hey, I got the camera with me. I'll have to go over there and take pictures of that car. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll talk to you later. Alright, bye. <clears throat> don't know how that's looking but uh, anyway I made the executive decision because I've got this tire pressure checker and I'm gonna go out home and get the um, pressure checker thing back er, oh my god I'm gonna go get the air compressor back I don't know what the hell I'm talking about so uh, Gonna work that way, are you? So, um, I I want to show you actually really quick before I go. Right there. Compressor. Well, you have to have the key flipped over to something, but anyway, yeah, and it's got a really long cord here with a nice gauge. Anyway, this doesn't seem to be that accurate. That's why I got the digital thing. And it takes a while to fill up your tire and everything with that, so I'm going to go get the real compressor back. My dad got a new one anyway. And, uh, gonna take you guys along for the trip.